Cybersecurity for the People, Small Business Edition, NIST 800 53, a quick security assessment. Here are the NIST 20 security and privacy controls. We're going to focus on RA, which is risk assessment. Here's the enhanced risk assessment family for RA. R1 is policies and procedures. R2 is security categorization. R3 is risk assessment. R5 is vulnerability and monitoring. R6 is technical surveillance and countermeasuring survey. R7 is risk response. R8 is privacy impact. RA9 is critical analysis. And RA10 is threat hunting. Let's delve into RA3, the actual risk assessment. The control states conduct a risk assessment, including identifying threats and vulnerabilities, determining, determine the likelihood and magnitude of harm to the organization, determine, determine the likelihood and impact of adverse effects on individuals arising from processing the PII, integrate the risk assessment and risk management decisions into the organization. Plus, this is a free online scanning tool. It does a deep analysis of the configuration of your SSL web servers on public internet. It also looks at your ciphers and gives the uh, website an overall grade from A to F. We did a scan on Papa John's website. You can see the overall summary and the overall rating was an A+. Plus. If you look to the right, it looks at certificates, protocol support, key exchange and cipher strength. Once we go to the next slide, it looks at the certificate. It's an RSA 2048 bit and a SHA 256 with RSA. Once again, it shows the subject, which is www Papa John's. In the middle, it shows you some of their alternate websites, their serial number, when the actual certificate expires, and once again, the signature algorithm. If you look at if you look at the configuration, you see TLS 1.3, TLS 1.2, TLS 1.1, and TLS 1.0. Also SSL 3 and SSL 2. Anything below TLS 1.2 has been hacked. So TLS 1.2 is in the green, so that means it's good. Cypher Suites, they have a few weeks uh, ciphers with, the, with, this in, with this in the orange. Once again, if you look at miscellaneous, it tells you the test date you ran it. HTTP status of 200 is good. It also shows you uh, it's being used on an Apache web server. Qualsys once again. Now we scan Panera Bread. The interesting thing is the overall rating was a B. Once again to the right, the certificates are green. The protocol support is orange. The key exchange is green and the cipher strength is green. Once again, if you look at protocol support, that has failed. It looks like a 65%. If you look at the bottom of that, it says, this server supports TLS 1.0 and TLS 1.1, which caps the grade at a B. That means those uh, TLS 1.0 and 1.1 has vulnerabilities and known to have been hacked. And if you go to the next slide, once again, it has the RSA 2048-bit uh, length of key and SHA-256. Shows you the subject, the common names, and the alternate names. Now when we look at the configuration, once again, TLS 1.2 is in the green. TLS 1.1 and 1.0 are in the orange. Once again, meaning that that's why it was capped at a B. We look at the cipher suites. It shows you the weak cipher suites. Uh, if we look at the HTTP request, it shows you the Panera Bread and the one is permanently moved, which means it's getting routed to the other one. Once again, the interesting thing in the, in the miscellaneous data is uh, HTTP status code of 200, which means it was successful. HTTP server signature tells you the Apache. Then it gives you the version, the version number 2.2.15 ran on Red Hat. It tells you the host name. Now, when we look at CVEs, we can actually look at that version of Apache, right, which is 2.2.15, right? Now we're getting a bit of our team, uh, our red team skills on. So once we looked up the vulnerabilities for that Apache server for that version, it, it gives you a list of all the vulnerabilities, all right? The score tells you the severity of them. 
Uh, 10 is the highest. So there's a couple out here. That, uh, there's four out here that are 7.5, 7.4, 7.5. 7 so if we would dig a little further, right, we could probably dig in and, and really figure out how to hack this server or take uh, advantage of the server. But we're not uh, working on our REST team skills. We're just doing compliance. But this lets you know how to, how to use a uh, qual sys scan to actually dig down and get into the depth of a web server. So the last part of the software assessment is privacy. What data is Panera Bread keeping on you? So if you look at the slide, it keeps your first name, last name, date of birth, gender expression, address, email, persistent online, it has your IP address and your MAC address, geolocation. So if you check in, it checks your longitude and latitude, social media identifiers. So if you check in the social media, any of the other ones, it links that information in there. Right. Um, the other part is who does it share your information with? It shares it with you directly, you directly, your browser. It actually shares information with third parties, uh, pub public available sources, uh, prospective franchises and social media networks. So it takes that inf your information combines with those. Then it has the digital dossier of you. Right. So those are some things at a high level we look at from a privacy standpoint. Then the last thing on there is we will write a report to management so they understand your risk, right? So the top level introduction, we'll talk about NIST, the risk assessment, RA, uh, the vulnerabilities. We talked about the CVEs. We talked about getting a B in the browser. So that's dangerous. Privacy, what data they collect on you, what data gets shared with third parties. Then the conclusion, usually there's two things we focus on. For Panera Bread, if we talked about risk, that would be high, right? Uh, the cost scan of a B, all the vulnerabilities, them sending your uh, privacy data uh, overseas, them sharing it with third parties, and the amount of privacy information. In realistic life, though, the impact will be low, correct? We're just talking about food, if we're talking about a restaurant, right? But if that was a company we're sharing real data with, right? That would be a whole different ball game. So that's kind of software risk assessment. A quick version at the high level. Please subscribe and share. Thank you very much.